and welcome to yet another fresh interview at the Face to Face Festival of Solo Theatre. That is the first time I have said that without pausing to try and not get my words mixed up. But anyway, I'm here with Peter Lilly, who is no stranger to the festival. Uh, you were here last year. I don't know if you were here the first year because I wasn't. Were you here the first year? Yeah, I was here the year before as well. Yeah, marvellous. Yeah. So you're, you're pretty much a face to face veteran. Yep. So, um, Last year you did the, you were performing during work uh, in vacation. Yes. Which was marvellous, I loved it, and I, I hope you appreciated my review. <laughs> I did, I, did, did I see your review? I must have done, did I see it? I have no, well I, 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 I have no idea. I, I, I read through it just quickly, just now before this, just because oh. I had forgotten the name of the piece, but I remember the piece in it. Oh yes, 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 excuse yes. me, yeah, I hope you yes. edited that bit out, yeah. It's, it's, it's just sort of, I'd spent so long going from one thing to another, and I've done about three different shows right. you know since then you were very you were amazing the only thing uh, you didn't realize was that it was just a short chunk you know? ah that's why I, I, guess. I wanted there to be more you know well there is more um okay but uh what 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 i did in the festival last year was a, a 20 minute chunk and that didn't uh, get get announced um, ah. so uh so people well, were you... seeing a kind of like ooh, 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 you know yeah. like kind of a, not really missing a gear, but but just I'm yeah. glad that you were left wanting more. Yes, well, that way. well, that was marvelous last year. Uh, mm. This year, you're doing something very different. Would uh, probably best that you tell the wonderful three people or more <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> Hi, uh, hello, hello, all three people um, about what you're doing um, this year. Yeah. Um, so this year, I've created uh, a new work. The great thing about the festival is that. It's a, it's a platform, it's a way of testing new material, having an, um, a kind of impetus to actually, you know, get a chunk of material together. So first year I was here with my show Chastity Belt, last year in vacation, and, and both of those became full-length pieces. And similarly, uh, this piece, which is called Imperfection, about the less, less ideal things in life, about the basically the true nature of life or you know this, the seemingly everyday nature of life that things aren't perfect although my director Di Sherlock uh, believes it should eventually have a, a different title uh, possibly the big surprise which is a quote from a Bukowski poem I'll talk about Bukowski during the rest she calls it the the art alcohol and death show that's what she thinks it's about um, so I talk about Bukowski I talk about Stevie Smith there's, um, it's, it's verse. There was verse in Chastity Belt, verse and talking to the audience. So I kind of segue mm -hmm. uh, between spoken word and kind of confessional theatre, um, both with, uh, invocation was more storytelling, yeah. wasn't it? Storytelling and, and kind of physical theatre, whereas Chastity Belt was, um, had this similar, you know, physical theatre plus, plus um, kind of confessional stuff plus the, the spoken word mm -hmm. stuff delivered at a mic. So, uh, Imperfection. Um, and one of the poems in Imperfection was inspired by this uh, artist practice that I have, which is taking photographs. And I take them with my iPhone. And it started, um, I don't know, just as a thing. It, it, it started you know, when you're alone and it's raining and you're just at the bus stop and there's nothing to do and you're looking at the phone for texts and then you kind of, I look, I remember looking down and seeing the manhole cover and the sheen on it, you know, on a cold November night and, and, and just taking a shot of that. And it, 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 so it became a sort of thing where if, if I noticed something, um, I, I've made a pact with myself that, that I have to shoot it. So, you know, and it was like, I've just been reading um, a biography of Diane Arbus, not to liken myself to her, but she, like other photographers would say, you just have to shoot and shoot and shoot mm. and you find out about what's a good photo and what's a bad photo. And so, yeah, one of the, one of the poems, The Broken, The Chip, The Darkly Lit, uh, was, was kind of inspired by my photographic practice that I am honouring these overlooked things, uh, these often sort of little fragments that I find on the ground, uh, not always necessarily, sometimes it's a texture, uh, and occasionally, um, occasionally there's a figure, but it's usually quite misty, 
or, or, or blurry. So I've got um, a threefold job here face to face this year. There's Imperfection, which is the current title of the 20 minute piece, which will be performed on Friday night, mm -hmm. Friday the 10th. There is the exhibition, which um, I've called Images of Imperfections, so that it all kind of links together. And I've uh, just selected this about, uh, there'll be about nine, 18, 19, 20 uh, images hanging uh, in the bar space here at mm -hmm. Lost Theatre, which is a fantastic place to visit. And then the third thing is Colin does these one-to-ones, which is such an amazing experience. I mean, I've only experienced myself leading mm -hmm. them. And uh, I did Claire Dowie's Dylan Tarot, yes. which is fantastic. So you go and sit with, with an artist. The one I really want to do is the woman that plays your dreams back to you. You tell her a dream and then she performs your dream for oh, you. Oh, yes. And then there was the psychic. Uh, the, the singing psychic. Singing psychic. Um, so I can't imagine. So uh, someone comes here, they buy a ticket, and they get, I don't know, 15 minutes worth of, I don't know, four or five artists, something like that. Colin has made this program. So that's what I'll be doing on the 11th. There's the show on the Friday night. And on the 11th, um, in the past, I did a, a, a Hero's Quest, which was um, the, a logical choice for invocation which was about work and the whole hero's journey work and life and passion and things going wrong the whole hero's journey thing and uh, this piece it's it's about the images and and this honoring of the lost and the broken and the link between mm -hmm. the photography practice and my verse you know, very broken, eccentric verse that I do, verse writing practice. So if people come and have a one-on-one -on -one with me, uh, you get to see the photos, you get to ask me questions about the photos. Um, I might ask you to tell me about why something resonates mm -hmm. with you. And the photos in turn have inspired verse. Um, I, I would like to call them haiku, but they're not. It's it's imperfect because they're not the, the precise 17 syllables. It is 17 mm. syllables, isn't it? It's not seven, seven, is it 17 or 19? It's 19, yes. Yeah, seven, five, seven, five, seven. So it's it's not the correct um, haiku who cares? form. Who cares? <laughs> who cares? Who cares? There's that lovely... Who, ca who cares haiku? Who, who, who cares who... Hi, hi cares who, haiku, who cares who? It's the love one, like getting the essence of something in 17 syllables is difficult. Something like that. I paraphrased <laughs> it. That's what I think it's one of the little poets who do that. But I find it. I think my favourite awesome. one is um, haikus are easy, but sometimes they don't make sense. Refrigerator. Oh, nice. Yes. Yes. That's five seven five, isn't it? Yes. Five seven five, seven, five which I... would be seventeen. No. Yes. That's what I said originally. I'm not too bad, am I? I no, no. Good you're, good better, you're better than I. Not good with numbers. <laughs> I'm a little bit better with words than numbers. <laughs> so it's it's really interesting at Forbes Festival. You're um, combining. Theatre with poetry and with art. Yeah. Uh, has it? Has it? Do you think it's working well together? <laughs> um, you know, I, I'm an, I, I follow what I feel compelled to do, and what I feel inspired to do, rather than going, hmm, let's let's think about what would be quirky and different to put these things together. I, I, I just I happened to be writing. Mm -hmm. Uh, poetry and writing songs and ha they happened to work well in chastity belt so uh, and then I, I was collecting um, new poems or just not collecting creating new mm -hmm. poems and when face to face came around and Colin goes have you got something and I go hmm let's see now and I sort of trawled through what I've been writing because obviously you're writing from the themes from the things that are intriguing you at the moment and I just thought well that's kind of uh, what sums things up for me and I had just r read a collection of poems by Bukowski mm -hmm. and um, I was thrilled by the fact that Bukowski actually writes about writing which you think would be self-indulgent, but he's the kind of most mm. kind of guy. So, and then there's the link with Stevie Smith, um, who I read two biographies of Stevie Smith, and I mentioned that in the show. And Stevie Smith was obsessed also with death, uh, and she lived this quite domestic 
existence. She mm. lived a very curtailed, quiet existence. And so I think about that sometimes when I'm doing my commuter journeys and, and I'm just finding little things, either late at night you're taking a photograph of something. So there's a lot of kind of that loneliness, which mm. is sort of, for me, there's a kind of assonance with uh, Stevie Smith. I've got a band-aid on my finger because the frames I've been framing the pictures and they yes, really been... sharp, oh, no. sharp things on the back. So that, that's a that's a, a, a war wound there. The thing, the things you do for art. Things, the things do you do for, for art. art. Yeah. But yes. Well, um, I'm certainly really interested in seeing the show and having a, a close look at the uh, pictures. Well, that's one thing I could probably ask and probably should ask. Um, this is this is all very professional, as you can see. Uh, <laughs> Because you showed some of the pictures at the press event. Yeah. Any interesting responses from the press so far on that little snippet? Um, the I think the evening uh, went on a little while. I haven't I haven't actually seen any reviews come through, mm -hmm. uh, but always the response to the photos. I've been posting them on good old Facebook. So it's, um, and people are like talking to each other about them and talking to me mm -hmm. about them. Some people go, oh, you know, I'll put up just some random bit of wall or they go, I can see a face, I can see a fish, or for me it's a something or other. So it's sort of people, and then people write to me and they say things like, I was standing the other day waiting for the bus and I was looking at this brick wall and then I thought of you. So it's like helping people discover yeah. beauty in, in kind of boring places and, and sort of uplifting uplifting them a little bit. There was one lovely one where um, people have been saying to me, when's the exhibition? And there's a, a, a lovely man who uh, works as a, a clown and he's also um, a, a very um, uh, established photographer. And he, he said to my friend Phil, you know, when's the exhibition? And he said, it's happening now, Phil. You know, it's as if it was like this virtual art gallery <laughs> on Facebook where people have been visiting. And why not? Yeah. Why so not? This is the logical extension to that. And um, I've, I've had people say some very nice things, including someone from the Canberra Art Gallery ah. who, who, who said something like compelling and astonishing richness. And they, which, is, which is, it's just nice. It's nice. People find them... They, a lot of people tend to say they're mysterious. Well, I, I certainly found um, looking at the, uh, at the press event to be quite beguiling and quite, oh, uh, quite enchanting. Thank there's, you. There's a few more adjectives you can use. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I, I, but I do mean that. I do genuinely mean that. I love the way you resonated with the one that I call Broken Reef, which yes, is simply I love that some one. scattered uh, petals and, and sort of shrub, shrubbery, mm. little sort of tiny desiccated leaves on the ground. and. Uh, like, I, like I say, I've got this rule that if something draws my eye, I have to take a picture of it, even if I'm running late. I stop, I squat, you know, people have to walk around me and, and all of that. So um, that's that's the rule. And the fact that you were there going, I, I, you know, I, mm. you really responded to it. You wanted to keep looking at that one. And, and I was going, well, yeah, you know, because to me, it kind of brings up a lot of resonances. Um, and then on the other hand, I'm just going, but it's just some stuff on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so you're here Friday performing um, the piece, and then the exhibition is going is well, it's ready. It's, it's going to be it's, throughout the entire festival. It's ready. Yes. Um, one would like to say, oh, my opening, my opening. But what it is, it's the opening of of the whole face to face mm. festival. So I will be here on the Monday evening, I guess from about 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. or whenever, and so you know, drink, come along, have a drink in the bar, by all means see the shows that night because Claire Dowie's uh, Adult Child, Child Dead Child. Child is being done with all these different people, which mm -hmm. apparently is awesome. Um, I won't spoil it. You're one of the few people I've interviewed that aren't involved in that because it's, no, it's, it's, it's such a large <laughs> undertaking. And, no. But it's, uh, yeah. But I had friends come and see me and they really yeah. responded well <clears throat> to all the programme, really. So, yeah, so there's a kind of opening for the exhibition, and the exhibition is here at the Lost Theatre in the bar space. You just come up one flight and it's in the bar space mm -hmm. between the 6th and to the 11th. And the one-on-ones yes. on with me on the 11th yeah, is the which, last um, thing that happens with them. I'd be really looking forward to as well. Oh yeah, so, me too. Yes, um, exhibition, 6th to the 11th, uh, your actual show on the 10th, and, and then the one-to-ones on the 11th. So do try and make it all, uh, do try and make it there. It's been wonderful chatting to you, Peter, so thank you very much, and, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.
Come on, Tino. 